is up YouTube? It's me again, darkbeauty 925 coming to you live. And today I'm going to be doing another concealer review. Um, this is just, I never heard of this concealer before. It was just a brand that I found at the beauty supply when I was getting more edge control. So I just wanted to kind of test it for you guys. This video should not be long at all. So it is, uh, what is it called? Nika, Nika K? I don't even know. Nika K New York and I got it in the color um dark cappuccino now my thoughts on this is I kind of think it's going to be too like I don't know I feel like it's too close to my skin tone and it might show up like, like not I don't know y'all so we that's why we testing it out so I kind of have my um eyebrows done already because like I said I didn't want this to be too long of a video at all I just wanted to kind of test this concealer out in front of you guys um because I wanted my lash review to be like an unboxing and opening review but y'all just already know how that went if y'all watched that video uh with the bloopers on it so today I'm trying to manage doing the real deal so, like I said before, I got this in the color Dark Cappuccino, I think I said. Yep. And I'm about to just test it out. My eyebrows are done. They're actually uh, kind of concealed already, too. But I can fix something else up. And I'm just going to see how this glides on, how this spreads. So, it kind of has the same, like, applicator thing as the, um, the, what's that other concealer called, y'all? The... LA Pro Girl Concealer, something like that. So, we're just about to test this out. It came up kind of fast. Which means it might be a little liquidy, but let me see. Yeah, most definitely liquidy. Like, very watery. But, I remember saying that my other, um... The other, the LA Pro Concealer was just like that. I remember saying that. And then as I used it some more, I'm like, oh, maybe that's just how it is when you first, like, open it. Almost like when you open the ketchup and then, like, the juice come out. That's kind of how I felt it was. Because it's not, the LA um Concealer is most definitely not as liquidy as it was when I first opened it. Now, this one is a whole different story. Because this one is literally, like, fading. Like, it's so watery. It's, like, evaporating. But I don't know. Let me just keep going and not talk. Sorry if you guys can't, like, see. But the color is most definitely not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I think it looks way darker in the packaging. So I'm happy. Like, it literally, the packaging makes it look darker because I was about to get espresso. Because I'm like, hmm, this kind of matches to the espresso that was in the, um, that was the LA concealer. And then I looked at the package and I'm like, I don't want my concealer to be darker than me. I want it to be a, a tad bit lighter. Like, what is going on? So that's why I grabbed dark cappuccino. So, yeah, it's really not, it's watery, but it's not dark like I thought it was. I'm trying to find my blending brush. Of course, everything falls on me. And, of course, I can't find anything. Hold on. Alright, so, I'm about to blend this in, see how it does. I literally did this so quick, too. Got it all in my eyebrows. But that's because it was so liquidy, too. So I'm trying to see how well it blends. And when I tell y'all this concealer was literally $1.99, let me find out that this concealer works like a concealer that is higher than what this price is. I will literally be like... <sighs> Screw y'all other makeup companies because what? Y'all know y'all overcharging. Because this was literally $1.99 out the beauty supply. And so far it's looking good. It's kind of like the same exact as the LA concealer. Like y'all see how it's blending in with my skin and everything. And I got it in the color dark cappuccino. Um, 
I don't really have any bad reviews on it except for the fact that it is kind of um it's just liquidy but I said that about the last one and it ended up not being as liquidy as I thought once I started using it so it might just be like I said the juices that come out first but yeah I'm, I'm actually kind of feeling this concealer and some of the concealer is on my brows and I don't see like it's like good coverage to me because I got some of my brow hairs covered up and you can't really tell. So I'm loving that. I'm feeling that. It's cute. It's cute. What I will say is it it's a little bit oily. Like, I don't know if you can well you can, mm, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of oily around the eyebrow. But I mean, as long as you just blend that boy in. And make it especially if you do your concealer before you do your foundation if um like if you have problems with oily skin and you don't want to add an extra oily product just add some matte foundation on there and you good but yes i'm loving this can y'all tell a difference in like my skin color my i always compare it to my skin color because um it's literally so oh, okay just dropped everything it's literally so hard to find a concealer that is good with my skin color and it doesn't look like a freaking ghost is hanging out of my eyebrows like it should not be looking like the soul is leaving your eyebrows before your eyebrows are gone i hate that look so that's why I always stress the importance of it having my color and blending in nicely with my skin because I literally hate that. But yes, um, this video is way longer than I thought it was going to be. But check this out, y'all. It's I got it at my local beauty supply. It's called Nika K. That's kind of funny. Nika? Nika? <laughs> Nika? <laughs> Nika K. And yeah, HD concealer. I'm going to try to show it. My stuff just never focuses right, so I'm not even about to try. But there we go. So cute. Let me NCL015. Actually, I'm gonna just put the name and stuff in the description so that y'all know. So go pick this up and try it and tell me how y'all like it. Cause you know I am new to this, so <laughs> I just might not know makeup. But yes, it's Dark Beauty925. Signing out of this live. Bye.